What is happening, everybody? Welcome to another X Truck Tour. I'm waiting for my buddy to get over here. Uh, my man Jock coming over here. He got, he said he got a passenger with him, so I don't know where he's at. But we're gonna be doing a special one today. You probably saw in the preview for this one the truck he was in the last time we rode together. But we're gonna be looking at a truck, a special truck today. So right now I'm just waiting for him. Then we're gonna jump into it. I'm going to at least show y'all what it is now. Let me walk over here a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Ah, the Max Superliner. I had mixed feelings about it until they dropped it off, and I just um, had them park it over there. I looked inside just to look. I ain't even started it up yet. But the inside is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. It's very reminiscent of the Mac R. So, but we'll talk all about that when he gets here. So, right now, just waiting for him. So let's do this, y'all. All right. Just got off the phone with my man. He running a little bit late, so I'm going to go ahead and give my personal view on this truck now and wait for him to get here. He'll text me when he gets close. So, All right. So my first thing of this Max Superliner. Um, don't get me wrong. Like, the Mac R, just if you take away the sleeper, I'd be fine with it. You know, have a nice long frame and everything like that. The big... Well, not even big. The little small boxy box like that. Not really loving that, if you want my honest answer. But I do love that, at least when I ordered it anyway, it said it had a lot of customizations. I didn't do much in the back, but it said it had a lot of back customizations through here. So that's good. Get a little fenders. I think it had a lot of fender customizations as well. So that's good. So that's definitely going to help when I go with towards the end of the video or at the end of the video rather and give my rating for it as far as um style yeah so that little box little type sleeper kind of messes with the style a little bit but again I can't harp all on that because color wise you can change colors do all that and it has some nice paint jobs I just didn't do it because this is a truck is like if I was gonna get it, it would be a lease truck anyway. I couldn't buy it per se because yeah, go back to my some of my other videos and you'll know why that is. But yeah, so yeah, that's why I didn't do much as far as color and all that. Just because I'm like, hey, this is pretty much just for the X truck tour and um, just to give an idea. Anybody else out here want to try it? And that's the Max Streamline. No, what is it? I said, I don't even know the daggone name of the truck. Um, okay, well, this is a good, good chance for anybody who wants to know, hasn't looked yet, how you can check on LB8 code diagnostics. That, uh, Superliner, that's it. The Max Superliner Custom, this is the Custom Sleep, but it is the Max Superliner. So, so yep, and yeah, we'll go back real quick while we're waiting around. Uh, if you don't know, just go to Services and Vehicle Diagnostics. That's where it's at now. Because I talked to somebody the other day, and they were asking me how to find certain things ever since they changed the um main menu like this. I actually like it, because you can go here, be on skills, everything else, and be like, oh, what are you doing? And then you can just jump right back to home. And anything, like, say I want to see what my trucks are doing, I go to my company. Say I want to see how I'm doing, per se, go to Korea. Say I want a job, it's real easy, and so I like the new setup. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but me personally, I like the new menu. It's a little bit more streamlined and easy. So, so back to this thing. Let's go ahead and jump on inside here. Yeah, find this key. There we go. Now I do say I love the Mac interior of this because they kept with the old school Mac R interior. So I do love that. That's not that. I did add a little CB that comes with it. You can do it. So and now they had options of the light down here, and I do like that they can. You can do all this, but if you notice through here, you hear that wind rush. That's because it's like another Volvo came out back in the day before SCS took it over, where not every little detail is on point. So besides that fact, that he's got nice lighting up top you can walk in the back look all around so that is nice and if you want to get back out just keep in mind when you get down here don't go all the way over here because you can get a little bit lost as far as getting back up so if you need to just completely just wrap back around and you're good so but i do like the setup i like the old school tractor parking parking brake and trailer supply brake that's like really old school i like that 
Uh, they have animation gauges, so turn it on. You see this, the key switch, so I'll turn it back off, show you. Key switch, key switch, so did that. I doubt, highly doubt the, um, the, um, brake. Oh, yeah, and the brake does it. Now, that's impressive. Now, I, don't, I highly doubt the clutch goes. Oh, yeah, that might help. Yeah, and the clutch don't do it, but the brake does. And I guess, I don't think the, um, obviously the shifter ain't and the um, other ones but hey like I told somebody before don't look for everything use your imagination people come on now this is still a game in the end but yeah so I like that it's got great illumination on the gauges I haven't been at night obviously but it looks like it's not no orange or anything like that got the trailer brake so that's good um I like well, me personally, if anybody knows me, I like that there's pretty much no digital. I don't like the whole digital stuff. Now, I do kind of wish it had a odometer thing somewhere, but I don't see one yet. But, hey, like I said, on a normal day, like around three loads, you learn a lot about a truck as you get going with it. This one, whenever my man gets here, um... I won't, I'm, like, for me anyway. He runs them all the time, so when he gets here, I'll talk to him. You can ask him more about it. Like, this is my first day in it. But, um, I'm, as soon as we're done with it, I'm going to just turn it back in be done with it. Because, again, I can't buy it, per se, and have it in, like, three years, you know. So, that's my thing. You know, I do like the setup. I do like the Mac setup. And they kept with that odd thing, like I said. So, I right, now that I did all that, let me see how she fires up. Give my opinion, then we'll just wait for my man to get here. So let's see how she sounds fine up. I do like it. It's a little... It's a little... Well, let me see something before I do to say all that. Let's see if doing it does it. Oh, I guess I... Oh, it does the, um... Axle raises, drops. Lifts up. I'm gonna get out here too because I just thought of something too. I feel like the front doesn't look, the back does. Oh, okay, that's interesting. You have the back lifts. But the front doesn't. Yeah, the, okay, that's interesting. So the front lifts, but the back doesn't. So, for me, I like level stuff, so keep in mind. So I'm going to drop it like that right here. So that's cool. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see how the horn sounds. <laughs> So that's good. I'm trying to find the. Uh, yeah, so I had to figure out how to get this window down if it goes down. Oh, yep, there it goes. A little sticky. Okay, so it does change up a little bit with the window. Ah, uh, racing into a can. KW900. Can't really see that past this box thing. Although, I think if I had the sleep off, it would be better, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm showing you and giving you my views as it go and waiting for the man to get over here. Yeah, just look good and just listen to it and everything like that. I put this window back up, though. I like that the animation does it, though. It was sticky, though. I ain't gonna lie. Alright then, I'm gonna uh, let this truck warm up. Yeah, let me see, where's the... There's the fuel, air pressure good. I'm looking for the oil, the um, cooling temperature. Let's see if it's got turbo there. Yep, that's the turbo for your side, look at that. I'm trying to find it looking. Cooling temperature, I got the oil, I got the fuel. Do y'all see it? Maybe I'm missing, I see the oil temp. And I think that one where it says load is um trailer pressure load which would be nice very nice i love those gauges oh that's right it might be over here that. yeah water temp there we go oh since we're here too and waiting let's see if it has any kind of nope, no no digital display which is nice i like that the only downside like i said i wish i had because i know most people don't care but um i do something just to see the odometer you know I think this is my man calling me now, so let me answer and see where he at. Hey, yeah, just got off with my boy. So, it's going to be a little different this go-round because he wants to show his. I'm going to show mine. I'm stuck. He's not. So, what we're going to do is a lot of more overlay here. So, not the normal, like, convoy style. Some more overlay. 
So I am going to try and get the get same load. And we are going to be coming out the same garage. But it's going to be more of an overlay style type thing. So with that in mind now. I'm going to show you what I always do with my truck tours. And... Um... Gonna say what's it called? Oh, the, um, what's it called? I forgot that advanced coupling. That's right. I can't. It's sad that it after all this time I can't remember that. Yeah, I'll show you this if it does advanced coupling. I don't know. So, all right. So, we've got any voices back on up? Yep, she got it. And yeah, I might raise this up a little bit. No, oh, no, it does do the front. Oh, no, okay. That's crazy. Huh. Okay, so it's more on my end at the point they do it. I'm about to say, it's weird with everything out today. They don't both go up. I do like how the front's a little bit taller, so I'm going to balance you out. And that's only because I like level and stuff like that. Alright then, let me jump back inside and... And see what has got going on here, so... So you're jumping on the Mac now, right? Yeah. Alright. You see that? Yeah, I see the trail. Oh, yeah, wait there, there. The... there it is. There it is. There we go. Hey, uh, you know, we're going to do it like this thing. Because you the one that hooked me on it. Well, not hooked me on, but introduced me to this. So give me like a five minute rundown of what you think of the Mac. Um, it's a pretty great truck. I like it because it's got the retro appeal of the Mac R and the outside looks of the classic um, 18 wheeler you'd expect. Probably something similar um, will come to your head when you think about an old 18 wheeler. Something that looks similar. Okay, I got you. I got you. Now, what do, what do you think about the dash setup? Because, see, when I jumped into this, I was very impressed by the way the dash is all lined up. Yeah, it's, it's still very informative with all the analog gauges and things. You get much more gauges than uh, you do in the Mac R. Um, because the modder extended the original Mac R dashboard um, to look more accurate to the official Mac brochure photos. Um, so I, I like it so far, but I do share your sympathy about the boxy sleeper. <laughs> I'm glad um, you caught on to that, because there ain't nothing wrong with it, per se. It's just... And did you catch on to the whole, you can hear the wind as you're walking through? Yeah, 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 yeah I know. I can hear that. I mean, don't get wrong, it's a nice but, truck, it's just... Yeah, it's a great truck, but the sleeper is also fairly accurate, because I've looked at the Max Superliner brochures for the 89 model year, and... This sleeper is an official option from the factory. Oh yeah, I know it's very legit. It's just interesting. Oh, yeah, I know. It's very yeah. Let me just go to Fort Worth real quick.
How long you got to your drop? 27 hours to 28. I'm currently on three quarters of tank. They do it on the um, main menu check never it'd be nice to look down and be like, ah, I'm up in like a hundred some miles or something, you know. Hearing stock sounds as well, I like that. Yeah, and I like that they added the load suspension gauge to let you know how much weight you got sitting tandems in the back. I like trucks that have that. Not a lot have them. As a matter of fact, that I think was one of the things that put me over to get the Kenworth 2022 because I wasn't a fan of all the digital. But when I saw it did that, I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. fun part about this sleeper though is it reminds you a lot of the W900 when you look out the window you can't really see much until you're right there Alright, so you've driven the Mac, you've got a better, you would probably have more, better, how to say this, your input would probably be more better than mine, because this is my one and only time I'll be in it. So we're going to start with you. What would you say if you had to rate this style-wise, 0 to 2.5, what would you rate it? 0 to 2.5? Yeah. I would probably rate it a solid two in my book ah you and me both because i said two two because there ain't nothing wrong with it per se it's a night i love the interior it's something about that sleeper and when you walk through here and you hear the wind yeah that's just yeah that messes me up so all right that's cool Holy... jesus that jake breaks lethal all right i so... just slammed on it hard as a matter of fact, you in it right now. What would you say comfort-wise is the truck in it from 0 to 2.5? And when I mean comfort, I mean like how easy it is to see all the gauges and stuff like that. Driver dynamics, you mean? Or just comfort. Like how comfortable are you driving that truck? Do you have to turn your head to see some gauges? Do you have to turn your head a lot to see around the windows? Just how comfortable are you? Perfect 2.5 because I can see basically whatever I need to see. Pressure, turbo. Okay, I got you. I got load. You. Okay, okay. I give you that. I give you that. See, for me, it's a two only because I don't like using the heads up display all the time. I like using the passenger one, but see how you got both of them up? I don't like using that all the time. I mean, I got the GPS, so yeah. All right, now as far as specs, what would you say that? Zero to 2.5 as far as specs. So and that means how well does it run with your computer? It's very well optimized. It does not cause any crashes, frame drops, and it works perfectly in convoy. 
uh, based on my tests. So, 2.5. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same because, like, legit, I ran the entire way up here. It ain't buffer, it ain't lag, it ain't do nothing. And all the gauges are smooth and the animation smooth. Heck, I'm gonna open the window now just for the heck. Oh, it does the thing. See, I'm gonna roll the window down. See, window down, window up. We smooth. Another, smooth. another plus for this truck is that there's barely any sound editing, so you can hear the engine roar nice and clear. Yeah, and that's, that is the truth, because like at the start of this video, from my end anyway, I showed how you could do the different with the windows and whatnot, and even without the window being down, it's still a very loud truck. So that is definitely nice. That is definitely nice. Yeah, because we're back in the classic 18-wheeler format. Nobody cared about how loud it was. Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, in the now, truck, you don't need these little baby freight line of sounds. I want to hear it. I wanted to blow my eardrums out. Mm -hmm. And now look at all the truck manufacturers these days. They're yeah, all no. boasting about who has the biggest fridge, the biggest in-class TV, yep. and who has the biggest and best quietest cab. Yep, it used to be about the sound of the engine, now it's about how comfortable you are, which I get, I was an over-the-road driver, at the same time I miss that old school, you start the truck, it sounds like a truck, you know? Not gonna lie though, I would spend a night or a few in this truck. Eh, yeah, yeah, I probably would, the sleeper's nice, it looks like it's a twin size bed, and I love the, um closet right here because you'll see it on my video I'm looking at it right now so it's very nice and all that only thing I probably would not want to do too long in this truck it'll give me a little bit of I need more space because I, I feel like if I was in this in reality I I'd not have a be able to have a TV in here I need a TV I need a TV I wouldn't mind staying away from the creature comforts for a bit but I'm still disappointed that you don't have any power outlets to charge your phone or anything. I yeah. guess that this is an old truck. Yeah, because they ain't got none of them 9 volts, nothing like that. And yeah, it is old, but you guys believe it. If this reality and I had this, like I owned it, I wouldn't put my own in. I don't care what you say, I would put my own in. But I'm going to put a little um, context in here for the viewers. Um, for the 1989 model year, the Max Superliner um, came out with very good options for the driver so when you ordered the Magnum Special Edition which is available as a paint job for this mod um, it came with a double bunk configuration yeah. with a bunk heater a TV antenna uh, TV wiring TV shelves um, Factory stereo, you got everything. Yep, yep. Like a, like he, like a man said, when this came out, when it first came out during that year, this was a very top of the line type truck. And we're not talking about the first generation Superliner, we're talking about the second generation. Yep. Which is what this truck is modeled after, at least. But you can choose both uh, body styles. Yep. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna assume on here because I know you're probably thinking the same thing me performance how the truck handles with the load I'm, I gave that a 2.5 because it ain't lag it ain't do nothing it, it, you throw something on it it's gonna take it I used to go camping a lot when I was younger with my uh, dad's old trailer and I didn't have a phone yet so I would just read magazines and listen to music and I was I would camp in this truck I would camp in this truck because it does got plenty of storage and if you look at the back um, inside the sleeper you can't really see it with the high quality interior model but if you go through the low quality one by like zooming into your truck 
there are four extra cabinets above the wall of the sleeper for whatever so it's got uh, an A plus storage wise oh yeah you can see it on mine it's, it's a little dark but actually it's got like one two three four yep six all together six all together that's not bad though all together this truck gets a nine point rating that's that's pretty damn good that's pretty damn good it's a goddamn good rating yep that's what i say that's what i say all right driver my man you be safe out there i see you still going i'm out <laughs> i dropped i'm done i'm out but you be safe on this road definitely let me know when you get me on the next one we gotta do this again all right, man. Thanks for having me. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, his link will be down in the bottom below, so hit that. And um, we will holler at y'all on the next one. Help me. It's coming out. Coming out, Where am I? No, babe. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh sorry, you hit three guys family somehow, but. What? Please, hold up. That's it. You hit three guys. What the fuck? What can you get there? Look! Oh! You just. What the fuck? You just upended my. Oh my god.